In this problem, we're told an object has a kinetic energy of 275 joules and a momentum of magnitude 25 kilogram meters per second. Find A, the speed, and B, the mass of the object. Right, so we know the kinetic energy, 275 joules, and we know the momentum is 25 kilogram meters per second. And so what we're trying to do is find the speed or the velocity, right? And we're also trying to find the mass for B. So the first thing you gotta do is realize the formulas for both of these. So the formula for kinetic energy is 1 half m v squared, and then for momentum, it's just p equals mv, right? The momentum is just mass times velocity. So how are we gonna solve this problem? So the way we're gonna do it is by manipulating one of these equations so we can actually plug in the other variable. And you'll see how it works. So it's kind of hard to explain unless you see it. So let's just go ahead and start, right? So what we're gonna do is just manipulate the kinetic energy formula. So we know kinetic energy is one half mv squared, right? So what our goal is, is we're gonna try and manipulate this equation so we can plug in p, right? Because we know what p is and that's what we're gonna do. So what we wanna do, right, is you're gonna multiply the top and bottom by m. So if we multiply the top and bottom by m, so you wanna imagine it like this, right? So if you go ahead and do that, you'll get that it equals m squared times v squared, right, on top, and then divide by 2m. So if you go ahead and do that, right, 2m, right, and if you factor out a squared right here, you'll get mv squared, right, and then still on the bottom 2m. What you notice here is that mv is equal to p, right, which we know what it is. So that's how we're actually able to solve this problem, right, because this is just the kinetic energy, right, and if we plug it in, the if we plug in a right, this here, the only variables that's going to be left is m, and we can actually just go ahead and solve for it. So since p equals mv, we're going to plug in p right here. So it's going to be p uh, squared over 2m, right? And so now notice this is the, uh, uh, the only variable left that we don't know, because this is the kinetic energy, right? Because all we did was manipulate this formula. So the kinetic energy equals the momentum squared over 2m. And so we know these two variables, so we can just solve for m. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we want to do, right, is multiply both sides by 2m. You'll get 2 times the mass times ke equals p squared, right? And then you just want to go ahead and divide, right? So we're solving for m, so divide by 2ke. So m, or the mass in this case, is going to be equal to the momentum squared over the kinetic energy multiplied by 2, or 2 times the kinetic energy, I guess, right? So now we can just go ahead and solve because we know the momentum is 25. 25 squared all over 2 multiplied by 275. So go ahead and plug this in. So 25 squared and then divide that by 2 times 275. And when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get the mass is equal to 1.136. And I'm just going to round to 1. 1. 1.14. So 1.4 and then the units is kilograms, right? Because we use kilogram meters per second here. So 1.14 kilograms, right? So that's going to be your answer to B. So I guess we did B first, but yeah, so this is B, right? This is the mass. Now that we have the mass, right, we can just plug it into one of these formulas and solve, right? Because if we know, uh, right, we know P equals MV, momentum equals mass times velocity, the momentum is 25, is equal to the mass 1.14 times V. So we can just divide by 1.14, 1.14, and that's going to give us v. So 25 divided by 1.14. And you want, if you want to use the more exact value, you can, but they're going to be very close. So if you do this, you'll get v equals 21.9298 and so on. I'm just going to round to 22. So 22 and then the units are meters per second. So 22 meters per second, that's going to be the velocity or your answer to, yeah, A. So this is A, 22 meters per second, and then B was 1.14 kilograms. But yeah, so these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.